Garen's little railway was initially just a basic oval with a siding up to the engine shed with a pair of points leading off approximately where this pair of points are in front of me now. I'll now set off around the original circuit. <laughs> Setting off, we first travel across the pair of points or switch that I referred to earlier. As you can see, other points and crossings have been added as the railway has evolved. The original intention was to make the railway flat all the way around, and this oval indeed is flat. Thus, there's a cutting at this point, and as we reappear from this tree, it turns into a small embankment. We're now approaching where the golden spike is, so I'm going to try and slow down and stop before we reach it. I see it now. Here's the golden spike, or at least one of them. There are in fact four to mark the sleeper, where the two ends of the railway eventually joined together. It would be nice to say that they're real gold, but actually it's just a bit of gold paint. It's amazing how well it survived given the weather here. We'll now slowly trundle a short distance to the first bridge that we've built. An idea of Karen's as a scenic feature to enhance the railway. I apologise for the jumps in this next part of the video. I decided to edit my bridge building explanation and concentrate mainly on the journey around the railway. This bridge is the major engineering feature on the original oval that made Karen's Little Railway to start with. In fact, it wasn't originally going to be here. We just had an embankment carrying on across here, but we felt that it needed breaking up and that a bridge would make an interesting feature. It's made in the local style with stone abutments, a steel deck and some steel railings. I won't go into great detail about the construction because I hope to cover that on our website. I'm quite pleased with how the finished thing looks and it's always pleasurable to hear the change in sound as you rumble across the bridge when driving around the railway. Moving on we travel around the back of the pond. We are now quite a lot higher than the natural ground level. Creating this section required building dry stone walls to retain the earth on each side of the line. We've just passed the points that are the start of the passing loop, which you can see behind the red planters where the wagons are standing. This was added at a later stage of construction. Passing the original siding points, we can slow down come to a brief halt and reverse into the siding leading to the engine shed. You may have noticed I didn't have to get off the engine to change the points because there are spun pair of points which makes this sort of manoeuvre a lot easier. So that's about as far as we can go at the moment but the siding leads up towards the engine shed there ahead of us and was part of the original layout. <laughs> 